A Vision of Faith, An Encounter in Bukaba. Between 9th and 15th January 2024, a delegation from the Catholic Diocese of Peoria embarked on a journey to Bukaba Catholic Diocese in Tanzania, for a momentous and joyous visit. The visit was marked by a profound spirit of hospitality and reverence, as Bishop Louis Tilke and Father Lucas Kyle, led by their host Father Dues Dedit Bayabato, were embraced by the vibrant community of Bukaba, led Bishop Method Kilani the Apostolic Administrator of Bukaba Catholic Diocese. During their six-day stay, the delegation from Peoria had the honor of inaugurating a convent. opening new churches, and engaging in heartfelt moments of prayer with the lay faithful. I kindly request you my fellow priests, and all the lay faithful. Please pray for our benefactors who have helped us very much in building these beautiful churches. The best gift we can give them is our prayers. So that one day, we can meet and celebrate in heaven. You could see how joyful the lay faithful were when you compared the dilapidated previous churches were. and the newly constructed one through the generous faithful from the US. The Church of the Holy Cross in Kilimiliel served as a profound backdrop for the expressions of deep faith and spiritual unity that characterized this momentous visit. Bishop Tilke and Father Kyle were deeply impressed by the unwavering strength of faith, the warm welcome extended to them, and the overwhelming joy that permeated their interactions with the community in Bukaba. The massive participation of the local communities regardless of their religious affiliation was a testimony of gratitude to the great mobilization being made by Father Deus in improving the praying conditions of his people. On several occasions, Father Deus could not resist the emotional impact of the support to these rural communities. Looking at the previous situation, and the current situation, and then ultimately the joy it brings to the people, you have to give thanks to the Lord. So, Bishop, I understand how busy you are, and I'm sure your fellow bishops know that, and of course they're the pastors. So, for you, taking for three weeks, coming to be here at Kilimirire, is, I am so honored, and the Bukova Catholic Diocese is so honored. Thank you so much, Bishop. As Bishop Louis Tilke and Father Lucas Kyle bid farewell to the people of Bukova, they carry with them the enduring memories of a journey marked by faith, love, and the unbreakable bond of global Catholic unity. moment. It's been a, a great joy to see so many moments of grace. Uh, the welcome here at the airport when I first arrived was was tremendous. Sure. Um, but uh, visiting uh, the parish, in particular St. Jude, the celebration to bless that new church uh, that uh, now is in use, uh, to see so many people turn out. Uh, but even visiting, we visited nine of the outpost churches uh, over the weekend and uh, each one of them in a very very uh, uh, particular way left a, a, a good memory in my heart uh, as people were so kind and generous and welcoming. There's there's a number of things I think we can learn. Uh, you know some of the roles of uh, the that, that individuals play in a community, the catechist, uh, in leading a parish community when the priest can't be there all the time. 
uh, is something that we've always just assumed that we'll always have priests for all of our parishes, which is no longer the case. Uh, and so uh, growing in leadership roles, uh, individuals that uh, could be catechists, uh, we have a different understanding of that word in the United States, but uh, nevertheless, the, the idea of having a leader from the community who can guide a parish, uh, the beauty of the singing and the dancing, um, and, and uh, allowing that free spirit of the, the Holy Spirit, the free Holy Spirit given to us to, to move us in a way that uh, helps us to praise God. So we've got a lot to learn from the church in Africa. Oh, I, I would love to say to the people of uh, the Diocese of Bukova in particular, uh, thank you, Asante Sana, for your tremendously warm, loving welcome. Thank you for your witness of faith. Uh, thank you for your commitment to live out that faith so that others may lo know the love of Jesus in their lives as well. Um, this has been a, a most memorable trip that has inspired me to uh, continue to make sure that uh, we share this uh, partnership, this friendship, this commitment to grow together in faith in the years to come.